When you hear the word evangelism, what comes to mind? Going out onto a street corner and preaching the gospel to anyone who pass by? Or maybe it's going to a classroom, sitting down and thinking through all the possible apologetic arguments so that you can be really persuasive and winsome as you try to explain the faith that you have and why you're right. All right, we have several different apologetic arguments for why we believe what we believe. We have the causation argument. And I have good news for you though. Evangelism, being a witness for Jesus, doesn't have to be that complicated. So let's go ahead, get comfortable. And I wanna dig into a passage in John that really shows how simple evangelism can be. My name is Enoch, and welcome to this Bible Anytime devotional. The account of Jesus healing the man born blind happens in John chapter 9, verses 1, and I'm going to go through verse 38. Now, that's a longer passage, so today I'm not going to read that whole chunk for you, but I would encourage you to go ahead, pause this video, go ahead, read the account for yourself, and then come on back. The story starts with the disciples seeing a man born blind, and they want to know why. Who sinned, they asked Jesus, this man or his parents? And Jesus blows their whole idea right out of the water by saying, neither. This man was born blind so that the glory of God could be displayed in his life. As we talked about last time, God's work in our lives doesn't happen on our schedule and our plan. God knows what he's doing and his work sometimes takes years and we may not understand that at the time. This, whole ma this man spent his whole life up until this point, blind. But God knew what he was doing. God had a plan and God was gonna display it pretty soon here. And so Jesus spits into the ground, makes some clay, puts it on the man's eyes, and then sends the man off to wash in the pool of Siloam. And this is the first thing that I think we need to begin to apply. When God wants to do work in our lives, we need to be willing to participate with him. It's really easy to want God to do all the work for us. And Jesus initiated it, but if this man wasn't willing to go and wash in the pool, healing wouldn't have happened. He would have continued on blind as before. But he does obey Jesus' instruction and his eyes are miraculously healed. And this surprises everyone. When he goes back to his neighborhood, no one believes that it's him. They say, maybe it's just a man who looks like him, but he insists, no, my eyes were healed. I am that man who used to beg. And he's eventually taken to the Pharisees and they want to know how his eyes were healed. And the man doesn't shy away from saying, Jesus did it. Jesus healed my eyes. And the Pharisees aren't very happy about this because the day that he was healed on is the Sabbath. And so Jesus was breaking their interpretation of what Sabbath observance should look like. But the man is quite readily willing to proclaim what Jesus has done for him. And he's adamant about that even though it comes at a cost to him because the Pharisees aren't happy about it. In fact, when the man insists that it was Jesus who healed him and that Jesus is a prophet, they throw him out. The man is willing to persist in proclaiming his testimony and he is willing to be put out. And then Jesus meets him again. Jesus tells him that he is the son of man and this man prostrates himself. He is worshiping Jesus for who Jesus has declared himself to be. And so in this story, I see three things that we need to be willing to do if we're gonna be effective in evangelism. The first thing we need to be willing to do is to participate in the work that God wants to do in our life. Recognizing that that's gonna happen on God's time frame and not on our own. So we may have to wait quite a long time, but even as we do that, we need to be patient. Patient that God is gonna do his work when the time's right. And that we need to be prepared. And we do that through prayer, seeking him, staying connected to him, waiting on him, being attentive to him. 
But when the time is right, we need to participate in what God calls us to do. And then, after God has worked in our life and we have seen that change happen, we need to be willing to proclaim it. And that's what the man here does. He proclaims to his neighbors, he proclaims to his parents, he even proclaims to the religious elite that he's been healed and that Jesus did it. And we need to be willing to proclaim to people too what God has done for our life. And then finally, we need to be willing to fall prostrate in front of Jesus and worship him for who he is, just like this man worships Jesus. And this is evangelism done simple. It's not about arguments, it's not about persuasion, it's about testimony. It's about being willing to share with people what Jesus has done for you. I hope this Bible Anytime devotional has been a blessing. May you go in God's grace and his peace.